Well, congratulations on that performance. How are you feeling? Of course, I feel great. First of all, I, I left the cage healthy. Getting, uh, getting out there healthy is number one. And number two is winning, of course. Was that how you expected the fight to go? Actually, I don't go in, oh, I need to kill him, I need to knock him out. I just go in to perform to my best, and I know if I per perform to my best, I always come for a fun fight, and uh, thank God today I had another great finish after a couple of years. My last knockout was 2019, and I'm back. Was there any surprises in there? I know you weren't in there very long, but was there anything about him that surprised you? Not really. The fight was kind of short. I didn't see, let's say, too much. But I like his energy. He, he's, a, he's a great fighter. I have a lot of respect for Jamie. And he fought so many good guys. He never, be, he never declined a fight. He, he fought so many good guys already. He came today. He wanted to bring a war. He, I liked his energy in there. I felt the hooligan. And uh, it was a great night. You know, I know before the fight, I asked you about John McDessie. And he tweeted. He's deleted the tweet since. But he... Um, says he believes he bo he beat both you and Jamie. So I'm just curious, you know, what do you have to say about some something like that? He's not in the UFC anymore, so you can't exactly fight him again. But what do you have to say about that? I just wish him the best. I wish him success. I wish him health for him and his family. I have no bad uh, words for him, no bad will. You know, I wish him the best. And uh, John, just keep going. I wish you all the best, bro. And what's next for you? Do you have an opponent in mind or a date? I know that's the end of the year. When would you like to get back in there? I don't have a, like uh, something in my mind, a specific date, you know, but I really wish f for the UFC to come to Morocco. Morocco is my new, like my second home now. We have a great infrastructure. We have everything needed for a UFC event there, for the first UFC event in Africa. Actually, the FIFA World Cup, the biggest sport event in the world, is coming to Morocco 2030, and I think it's the right time for the UFC to make the move to Africa, let's say beginning or middle of the year to Morocco, it would be amazing to, to let's say, ah, if, you, if you want to put me as a headliner, I would greatly appreciate it, you know. But uh, I think it's the right time for the UFC to come to Morocco. Do you think your performance deserved a bonus? I don't know. The UFC decides, Sean, Hunter, Dana, they know whoever deserves a bonus should get a bonus. I don't look on too much onto this kind of stuff. I just love the sport. I love the UFC. I love the company, you know. And uh, as I told you guys this week, I grew up in that octagon. It's my identity, you know. I'm just happy to be here, healthy, perform to my best, and enjoy every moment. In a couple of years, we're all going to be old, and then I look back on the videos, I, I live my dream, and I'm just very grateful for that. Thank you so much. Thank you.